Hi everyone, this is Diana from Dandy Creations. I just wanted to show you a um, soap that I made. I rendered my first um, batch of tallow the um, weekend of New Year's. So I, I'm just getting around to trying it now. But this is a hot process that I added Mountain Pour curls in it and it came up with this cool looks like a granite sort of thing. It's Indian sandalwood. So what I'm going to do is on my Facebook page for Dandy Creations, I'm going to uh, post a, well, post, I guess, going to do a post about uh, Name That Soap. So you could get a chance to win a bar of this when it cures in the best name. Uh, wins a bar of soap, plus I always throw some, a lot of other goodies in there. I can't see, I usually ship priority flat rate the um, padded envelope and I always jam pack it. But this is a way to help me because I don't want to call it Indian Sandalwood, but it's such a cool design that I knew they were going to melt, but I just wanted to see what kind of design they were in it. It was a great, I think it looks pretty cool. It's a glitter on top. But yeah, I'll put a post on, or a um, link below to the, my Facebook post page and um, help me name it and win something. Also, oops, sorry, I'm be so noisy. I want to show you these cool bathtubs that I got. Um, on the, sorry, so jerky. On, I belong to a bunch of um, Facebook uh, groups, and the one <coughs> girl, excuse me, went to Target and showed. Now all of a sudden, all the soapers want to uh, find these tubs. So we got a Target that's probably about 20 minutes away. So I called them first, and I asked the girl, then answer the operator. Uh, Do you have any of these these tubs? They come in pink. I think it's blue and then yellow. Do you have any of these tubs? And she put me on hold and went and looked. Yeah, we got them. So they were in the dollar bin. So I, me and my husband went, jumped in the car, went and grabbed 20 of them. But I thought those were adorable. And at the shows, I'm going to make baskets, gift things, put like a soap. I've been doing bubble bars and bath bombs and bath salts. And uh, lotion bars, saw lotion bars and stuff. I thought I'd make some of these up for the the craft shows. I thought it was a great idea. And they always, the craft shows, they always want a, um, a donation. You know, it's usually a school or something. Um, I know our own hometown does it for the band that uh, it benefits them. So I don't mind giving. So, uh, yeah, I thought that was, they were so cute. Those would make nice gifts. I just have to figure out how to what I'm going to put in there. Okay, so yeah, go to the Facebook page and name help me name these soaps, please. I need some help. I don't I don't want to call it that. Sometimes it's just hard to figure out names, but it's such a cool I'll show you under the thing. Such a cool design. I'm in my photo box, so excuse the lighting and stuff. I thought those are, and they're really hard already. I just love that tallow. And I don't mind using it. It was sort of fun to make. It's my first time, so it took forever. My husband was laughing at me. Um, I think I'll, the next time I do it, I'll know how to do it. But it's so cheap to, to buy, and uh, they charge me 25 cents a pound. I got 10 pounds, and... I'm able to pass those savings on to my customers then. And it's still a good bar of soap because I put, I'll always put uh, super fat at high and put uh, butters in it, whether it's cocoa or shea or mango. And I want to make my own almond butter out of um, raw nuts. I'm going to try some of those. But it's always an adventure. And it's fun experimenting and trying to make different things. But yeah, if you could uh, go there, and I'd appreciate it. Thank you, and have a, 
a great day, rest of the weekend. It's Sunday already. Weekend's almost over, back to work tomorrow. So be safe and catch you later. Bye-bye.